Hey, hey guys, I'm here with a quick video on Anita Baker. Now listen, we knew that tour with Anita Baker where she made it clear she was the headliner and that baby face was just a supporting act, was on life support. But I thought they was going to make it to the end of the tour. But no, nah, Anita Baker, she childish, she petty, she messy, okay? She had enough and she kicked them off the tour. Now, listen, guys, we're going to get into everything right after this, but I think Anita Baker done put her foot in her mouth. I think she's going to be sorry for kicking them off the tour, but we'll get into it right after this. <laughs> Now, guys, I'm going to share this story with you really quickly, okay? Anita Baker has lost her everlasting mind to the point where she just thinks it's so simple. I'm going to give you your money back. Girl, girl, what you don't know about these fans now, they don't play. They don't give a darn. Whether you give them their money back or not, to prove a point to you, Anita, they won't show up for, to the concert just to teach you a lesson. And Anita, I'm sure you don't know, when people bought the ticket to your sold out concert, whether they bought the ticket to see you or to see Babyface, but you about to find out. Now, Anita, I hope for your sake that they came to see you, that they purchased that ticket for you, or else you're going to be digging up in that purse of yours. Now, you're too old for this, Anita. You're 65. Why did you let them catch you out there like that? You caught feelings. You never catch feelings when it comes to business. Do business and catch feelings later. But anyway, let's get into it. The Grammy Award winning singer announced that Babyface will no longer be featured on the rest of her North American tour at the long dispute on social media. You want to let the fans have you lose your bag? Are you stupid, Anita? Messy. Anita announced today that Babyface will no longer appear on the remainder of her North American tour at the exchange of words with some of her fans on social media. Today's news is accumulation of months of back and forth banter from several parties earlier this year. Babyface born Kenneth Edmonds was featured as a special guest on Baker's 15th City, the Songstress Tour. Okay, 15 City. If you as a grown person that done live life can't get through a 15 city tour with somebody, girl, bye. The Sondra's tour in May during a show at the Prudential Center in Newark, New Jersey, Edmund's set was canceled due to technical issues, okay? He later tweeted, I'm truly sorry to all my fans who have been waiting for us to hit the stage this evening at the Pool Center. I was asked not to perform in order to give Miss Baker her space and time to perform her show in its entirety. The post continued, my band and I are extremely saddened we didn't get to perform for y'all tonight. Baker then spoke to the delay on Twitter saying it was way past time for the headliner performer to be on stage slash Anita Baker support act did not perform I have no contract with support act not my call so she trying to say y'all coming for me I don't got the contract with this man 
the production people do, the people who put this thing together, okay? So that wasn't my call for him not to get on stage. I did what I was contracted to do in love as headline performer of my sold out concert. Well, girl, it was sold out, but his name was on that ticket. Do you know if it was sold out because of you or because of him? You don't know, but you're about to find out. Since then, the Grammy Award winning singer has been dealing with an onslaught of tweets from babyface supporters. According to CNN, on June 13, she tweeted at the silently enduring cyberbullying, verbal abuse, and threats of violence from the fan base of our special guest slash support act in the interest of personal safety. I will continue the songstress tour alone. Appropriate refunds will be made. Okay, so she's saying, I don't even want y'all coming in the building because y'all fanatical about baby face. Y'all may try to come get me off the stage, come backstage and get me. So I'm done. He can stay home, do his own tour. I don't care what he do, but he ain't going to be on tour with me. And, and I risk y'all being in the building trying to do something to me, maybe throw eggs on the stage. I don't know. Babyface, who was fresh off his successful Tiny Desk performance, issued a statement via, via Twitter following the announcement of his removal as a supporting act on Baker's The Sauntress Tour. I'm saddened by the news that Anita Baker has decided to remove me from The Sauntress Tour, the post read. It's unfortunate and disheartening to see how things have played out via social media. While I was looking forward to the rest of the days, I have nothing but love and respect for Anita, and I wish her the best for the remainder of of her tour. What I think that um, Babyface could have did, but uh, he probably was enjoying the support of his fans. He should have got on Twitter, since I guess that's the way you handle your grievances these days. He should have got on Twitter and told the people, listen, pipe down, pipe down. Please do not come at the Anita. Whatever's going on with this tour is between us. So, Babyface, I'm not letting you off the hook either. You didn't handle this too well yourself because you could have shut this down. If you're saddened that you got kicked off the tour, she asked you before this to stop your people, to shut them down. You didn't do it, bro. So now you lost your bag. She lost the bag. And both of y'all get an F when it comes to business and comes to getting together and just giving the people something that they want, good music from the both of y'all. So you know what? The both of y'all get an F. I came up here to get on Anita Baker, but babyface, now I'm throwing you in the pack too because you could have stopped your fans and you didn't. So you both get an F. Pay back the people their ticket money. Now, I'm sure it's going to get deducted out of both of your money that y'all have earned. So both of y'all are responsible. It's a hot mess. Let me get them off the screen. It's ridiculous. So you know what, everybody? Chat with me in the comments and let me know your thoughts. I know Anita Baker, she's messy. She's childish. Um, you know, she should have tried to find a way to get through 15 cities. I mean, that's not a lot. But even though it's 15 cities, I will take this back. Or, no, because I don't think they, I think they was in Newark at the Potential only one night. I don't know if it's 15 cities and then it's several nights when they're in that city. I'm not sure. But either way, these two get an F. Big fat F. Mad at both of them for not being able to come together as grown adults and put on a show for the people. Chat with me in the comments, guys. And when I get an opportunity, I will chat back. You know the routine. Not a subscriber. You need to subscribe. Hit the notification bell so that every time I upload a video, you will be notified. And everybody out there, hit that like button. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you on the next video.